One of the biggest questions facing San Francisco this offseason is who will start at linebacker come week one. Currently, it looks like Dre Greenlaw will start the year on the physically unable to perform list, meaning San Francisco needs not to just find their starter, but also who their third linebacker will be. And while San Francisco did sign Devondre Campbell this offseason, I believe another younger player could feasibly push to start or at least be linebacker three, that being D. Winters. Coming out of TCU, Winters had crazy athleticism. He ran his 40 yard dash in 4.49 seconds, but he was a little bit undersized. So he needed a year in the NFL weight room to get the size and strength necessary to be an effective linebacker. And now that he has that, he can definitely push for one of these linebacker spots. So in this video, I'm going to break down D. Winter's rookie film and what he offers San Francisco going into his second year. One of my favorite things watching D. Winters is how quickly he's able to close on the ball because of that 4-4-9 speed, as well as how hard he hits the guy. On this play versus the Eagles, for instance, he's able to quickly identify where Jalen Hurts is going with this ball and then is able to get there in time to break up the pass. In a similar way on this quarterback draw, Winters does a good job of identifying where Wentz is going and helps bring him down. This speed can really mitigate a lot of mistakes, not just Winters, but other players. On this play, for instance, this defensive end was supposed to have outside contain, but he failed to realize it was a read option, leaving up for D. Winters to chase down this quarterback and he does an excellent job of navigating the space and taking the proper angle. In a similar way on this play, you can see how Winters is able to fight off this tackle to contain this quarterback. And while chasing down players is important for a linebacker, it's also important how you meet him inside the hole. And on this play, I absolutely love how D. Winters is able to light this guy up and not allow him to get even one more yard. Another area in which Winters really excels is understanding where the quarterback wants to go with the ball. On this play, for instance, you can see how he quickly identifies the quarterback targeting this running back and makes the open field tackle. And while Winters made the open field tackle on this play, that wasn't always the case and that was a big area in which I think he can improve headed into this second year. He needs to be better at breaking down in the open field and then making the tackle. Sometimes, in a similar way to Dre Greenlaw, he's just a little bit too hot coming in. And as I mentioned earlier, Winters was a little bit undersized, but going into year two, he should have more size as well as strength. Ultimately, looking at D. Winters, I see another player that could develop into a guy like Aziz Al Shayer. And with Johnny Hollins as his coach, I bet he takes a huge jump in his development and maybe even secures one of these linebacker spots. But ultimately, those are just my thoughts about D. Winters and San Francisco's linebacker situation headed into this year and i'd like to hear your thoughts and who you'd like to see in that linebacker two and linebacker three role it would also mean a ton if you liked and subscribed and as always i hope you guys have a great rest of your day